Hello, and welcome back to Midwest Charge. You join me in Knoxville, Tennessee? No, not Knoxville, <laughs> Chattanooga, Tennessee. You join me in Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, right next to a huge piece of electrical infrastructure back there at a Chem Power Charger. Well, actually, it is a Fast Charge Tennessee EPB fiber optics charger, but it's got Chem Power hardware. So, put the adapter in, although normally you're supposed to put the CCS adapter on the CCS handle first, but I figured it'd be a little easier. Oops. There we go. Yeah, for some reason it didn't recognize the handle, but let's see, authenticate with mobile app or pay with card. So we're gonna go ahead and pay with card. All right, that was incredibly fast. I just had some issues with my payment card there. Had to uh, had to put it on the machine like four times for it to read, but we have shot right up to 70 kilowatts, 71 kilowatts. So looks like it's continuing to ramp up just a little bit. Uh, so this station runs on the ZEF Energy backend. Uh, we're at 54%. Let's see what kind of information this gives us. It's vehicle vehicle limits. Huh. So I wonder if that means a vehicle is what's slowing us down, but I would... Oh no, that's possible. We're at 54%, so we might not actually be wanting that much power, but let's see here. Let's see if there's any, any other information. Well, let's go look at one of the other ones. So if you look at the other station here, the individual with the Acura just left, you get 120 kilowatts 400 volts so this car is probably asking for less power because it is not preconditioned so we're getting 76 kilowatts we have some let's see we have some nice uh what are these Ampanol pcd cables i'm guessing 300 amp but uh oh here we go it just says it on top that's nice let's see 300 amps so there you go so yeah, so the car is asking for about 200 amps right now, which means it is definitely a car limitation. All right, this is a super interesting site design here. We have a compost bin, I guess, if you want to compost your uh, compostables. So this here is the site. We've got a little entrance from here. You pull through, and it's got four stalls. There's a CCS, a Chatamo, and then a CCS, CCS. So three CCS, one Chatamo, four stalls here. Uh, really nice layout. I love the pull-through design. Uh, seems like a pretty pleasant place. We have two ChemPower chargers over here. Uh, you've got the the signature spring-loaded cable management here, so you can pull it far away if you need to, or it'll just return to roughly center, so that there's never too much tension on the cable. Very very nice. We've got. Let's see here the chem power cabinet you can see actually some of the filters here the air filters uh, let me zoom in on that a little see some of the air filters for the uh, power conversion so these are not integrated units you have one of these on a site or multiple of these uh, cabinets with all the power uh, man the name is escaping me but the the power converters and then you just put the posts in the ground wherever you want to and you route the cables. So we've got, let's see, what else do we have here? We have a distribution transformer. And then we have the cellular connectivity. We've got some more electronics and presumably some level of transformer and other, other things in there, unless that is the transformer for the site, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, seems a little bit far away, but who knows? So that is the official Ringgold substation. So that provides power for most of the city of Ringgold, Georgia. But like I said, we are right on the border of Georgia and Tennessee. So super cool site. So they actually have a really cool little sign here. It says, now open. Welcome to fast, reliable EV charging powered by EPB. So I believe EPB is an internet provider in this area and uh, they are helping in conjunction with some of the power utilities and other statewide programs 
to install more EV charging. Apparently they have very fast Wi-Fi here. I have not tried it, but you can see the Wi-Fi antenna up there along with the camera, which is a nice touch. Although I do wish they had lighting, but unfortunately there is no lighting here at this station. Um, doesn't seem like a you know, poorly lit area. There's a Chick-fil-A right there. There's some street, okay. So there is a little bit of lighting from that street lamp. Um, covers one corner of the site, uh, but not a whole lot of it. There is a pet waste station here. So you got some greenery to go sit down or walk your pet or walk around with your kids or whatever. Um, this sign confuses me because there's no charger here unless they're talking about this charger. But uh, I'm not, not exactly sure what makes this stall more accessible than any of the other stalls. But uh, all right, this is, this is probably just some kind of technical requirement even though the site layout uh, does not make sense in that context. Love to see more new hardware getting put in. Uh, like I said, this is a really cool installation. I love the ChemPower hardware. I rarely get to use it. Um, I've used a ChemPower unit once before, not on camera, and then I tried to get it on camera one time and I was unable to, but that was a much lower powered system. This is a, this is a pretty kitted out unit here. So we've got, got a good amount of power going through it. Um, like I said, this runs on the ZEF energy backend. Uh, you got charge IDs, little QR codes. There's also a payment terminal if you don't want to do any of that. Um, let's see, I thought there was a thing about the price. Here we go, so the price is 49 cents per kilowatt hour, which is not amazing, but not terrible, uh, particularly given the power level. Uh, I think 300 amps, you're looking at about 120 or 240 kilowatts on a uh, 400 or 800 volt car. That seems pretty good. I do absolutely love this layout here, how they have compost, trash, and recycling. Uh, so it's very easy to sort all of your waste and put it in the most environmentally friendly container. So yeah, overall, great design. Uh, I think the size of the station is probably a little small. Uh, four stalls is not a whole lot in 2025. Uh, it's a good amount, but yeah, certainly not a ton. I'm not sure exactly what this guy's doing. <laughs> But, uh, okay. <laughs> but overall, I mean, it seems like it's serving the demand. Uh, I'm the only one here. There was an Acura here earlier, but I haven't seen the site full. So it seems like a pretty good site. absolutely love this tree here because it provides some pretty nice shade to this part of the charging area. It's also a really nice place to sit. All right, let's get ourselves unplugged. We are up to 70%. So we'll click stop. There we go. Stop button is pressed on the charge. Unlock the car and disconnect the charging cable see here we were here for 12 minutes up to 70 percent we added 13.67 kilowatt hours and it was six dollars and 86 cents
Next up, we are going to head over to Knoxville from Chattanooga, because we're in Chattanooga. So we're gonna go to Knoxville and check out the other site with Chem Power units. I don't know if that one is a joint venture with EPB, but it's definitely um, powered and funded by the Tennessee Valley Authority, as shown here on the electronics. So let's go check that out. Hello and welcome back to the other Chem Power site right behind me. Wow, that is a really fast handshake. This, these Chem Power units probably have the fastest handshakes I've seen outside of uh, Tesla. Go ahead and let it ramp up here. We're at 33%. The station is 40 cents per kilowatt hour. That's more reasonable price if you ask me. Oh, don't stop. Oh good, okay, didn't register my tap there. So it looks like we are going to be getting pretty close to the 120 kilowatt maximum the station can provide. Let's see, vehicle limits, so I believe we are limited to 300 amps right now, because we're at 34% pulling 111 kilowatts, so this is perfect, this is the maximum that the charger will give us. All right, so we just checked out the Chattanooga chargers with ChemPower hardware, and now we're going to check out the ones in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, these are also fast charge Tennessee sites. Uh, I don't remember. Let's see if we can find. So it looks like all the same sponsors for this site. Um, it's a fast charge Tennessee branded site. We've got Tennessee Valley Authority, um, the Department of Environment and Conservation, uh, but I don't see anything about EPB. So, at this site, we have one, two, three, four handles here, and, or four handles, sorry, four, four posts uh, with eight handles, it seems. And we're looking at seven CCS and one Chatamo. So we've got the one Chatamo on the end here, and then CCS and then more CCS all the way down there. So we've got one, two, three, four marked spaces, but eight plugs. And it looks like these can do simultaneous charging. So there's something a little weird with the layout. Um, I think I probably would have uh, made the site a little larger, but it looks like if you, if you really wanted to, you could probably squeeze a car on the very end, uh, thanks to these, <laughs> thanks to this, uh, this chem power cable management here with the uh, spring loaded arms you could probably get one more vehicle past the model 3 there and charge another one and this is an exceptionally wide space here so you could probably get two cars here but yeah kind of a weird site layout but I love the charging stations uh, it was almost immediate getting it charged or uh, getting it plugged in and charging uh, which was super nice so just like the last station, we've got two more. Uh, instead of one, we actually have two more of these Fast Charge Tennessee branded ChemPower uh, cabinets that have all the power modules in them. Uh, you can see we have one, two, three, four dispensers here. So makes, or four dispensers. We have eight, eight dispensers, four posts. So it makes sense we would see twice as many uh, power modules. We've got the emergency disconnects for, is this all four individually? That's kind of insane. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay, so these are all just huge emergency disconnects, one for each post. And then we've got a 1,000 kVA transformer feeding the site, so a solid amount of incoming power. And then we've got the electric meter here. And yeah, it looks like it's about it for power electronics on this side. So here we can see Seven States Power Corporation electric vehicle charging station. So these guys are probably involved in the making of this station as well. Um, just like the other site, we've got these solid, whoa, interesting, I think this, uh, strange, <laughs> that CCS handle keeps coming loose. We have the same painter terminals as last time. I have noticed, at least with these, uh, chem power stations, if I use my chip reader, or the, if I use the chip reader with the chip on my card, uh, it tends to not like it, but tap to pay works just fine, which is a little strange, but hey. 
Uh, these also are using the same ZEF energy back end. And, well, that seems a little odd. They probably need to, uh, probably need to fix up the insulation there. But the rest of these stations are in pretty good condition. I believe they've been in the ground for a few years. I've seen them online since 2023, I think, in PlugShare. I've just never, uh, never been able to make it down here to check them out. 44% state of charge. We are still pulling that maximum 300 amps. So we should be coming off 300 amps here in about 4 or 5%. But we will uh, we'll take the high speed juice while we can get it. As far as amenities go, this site is, I think, a little lacking in that respect. Uh, while I do love that there are twice as many places to charge here as the other site in Chattanooga, uh, there is a giant concrete wall, an apartment complex, and a parking garage, and a highway. <laughs> that is, uh, that's what you're surrounded by. So there don't seem to be any easily accessible restrooms. Uh, there's definitely no food that I can see from here. Um, I'm sure if you walked around the city a little bit, you know, you'd find something. But uh, yeah, as far as amenities that are easy to get to and super close by, there just uh, don't really seem to be any here. But this doesn't seem too much like a travel charging site. This seems to be more of an urban charging site. This, this, char uh, this installation appears to be serving a need for people who are living in apartments, right? Someone who needs to charge their car, um, but it doesn't have to be at the highest speeds. Uh, they just need to have somewhere where they can plug in, hang out for a few minutes, get their car charged back up, and then be on their way. And in that respect, I think this is a pretty good charging station. It's a good utilization of what was just dead space before. You know, there was, there was just regular parking here, and now you have EV charging, which can actually benefit people who want to live in these apartments right over there. Overall, it's cool to see another ChemPower installation, and I hope we get to see more of these super cool looking chargers all over the country. Thanks for watching this episode of Midwest Charge, in which we were able to explore the brand new ChemPower units across Tennessee, and I hope to see you next time.